What's going on guys, Forley Bros here for another video. And of course, by the title of this video, you can tell that we're um, gonna be doing a review on our the E550, MOOC. the MOOC, um, about, <laughs> what was it, two months ago? Yeah, about two months ago. Two months ago, the front suspension on our E550 blew out, and then we ordered new air suspension, uh, components, whatever. We got those parts back, and, I mean, uh, well, we, not back, we, but- We received, we received we them, We received yeah. them, and that part was broken. Then we went to go- Tell where we got it from, so you know. Uh, I don't even R know. R-Naught, we got uh, our- uh, R-Naught, yeah. yeah. The, the air air piece, the new one we received was broken, so then uh, we returned it to get a new one. Yeah. When we got the new one back after the broken one, the other side went out. So now we're yeah. stuck with two front struts completely blew Both out. Shot, yeah. um, the car was back to the ground. Yeah, um, couldn't drive it. You know. started it, it wouldn't even raise it. Yeah, I don't know. You can, Matt might be able to throw in a picture of when that happened. Yeah, it was, year, it was complete shot. So basically what we did was we said, you know what, screw the air suspension. The car is a 2008. You know, it's not worth that much. We said, you know what, let's give her the air suspension, do a regular static suspension setup. So we went with Strutmasters because it was one of the only companies that had what the formatic and airmatic. Uh, yeah, so you guys get version. Do, yeah, a lot of places like for the E55 or any of the MGs, you can get coilover. Yeah, you know, full adjustable, adjustable coilovers and like BC racing stuff like yeah. that. Um, for this car, since it was a formatic, it was really hard to find something, and we came across Strutmasters, yeah. and they were the only ones that, that we could find that had the full uh, conversion kit. Yeah, so we paid about, it was like, about $1,200, and unfortunately, we couldn't install it ourselves because well, our- we attempted. Yeah, we attempted, it but bad. we didn't have the right tools, our air compressor broke, so we just had someone do it for us. And, um, but if, if, you, if you guys can install it yourself, you're gonna save a lot of money. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let you guys see the car, what the ride height's like, and we'll tell you how we like it so far. All right, guys, so this is how the car looks as of right now. It's been on here for what, Nick, three weeks? Yeah, about, about three weeks. I'm gonna show you the ride height. I would definitely say the front, it looks like it sits a little bit lower than I would say the stock suspension. Nick, do a little finger test on there, show them how many fingers yeah, you can fit in there. It's about two finger, you know, I got pretty big fingers, but yeah, you can fit about two fingers in there, before, so it's pretty low. Before with the air suspension, it was about two and a half at normal ride height. So yeah, so this, this is sitting a little bit low. Now the issue we're having is with the back. The back looks like a freaking truck. I mean, you guys can, this looks terrible, look. And it's actually went down a little bit since we installed it. Nick, do the finger test on that one to show yes. the difference. So you can see here, this is like three and a half fingers. Um, this is almost as if it was like on, when you pump up the suspension with the air. Yeah, so when you had it in like the, the race mode. The underneath needs to be put back in place. They yeah, but, in, but it's, this is really high. This you is can see, it doesn't look nice. A lot higher than normal. Yeah, so the back, we're having a problem with that. And we actually contacted Strutmasters twice. They haven't responded back to us either time. So customer service isn't too good there. All right, so just like the other side. Front and sitting nice and low, looks really good. And we'll move it to the back and just the other side. Four by four mode. Four by four mode, looks like a truck. Bigger chum. Oh look, there's even a, you could definitely fit almost four fingers in there. So the back is definitely significantly higher than the front. Looks pretty bad and like I said, we tried to contact Strap Masters twice. They haven't responded to us yet so. Actually three times. Yeah, three times actually. So that's kind of crappy on their part, customer service. I would say it's definitely uh, definitely not very good. But other than that, it turned out pretty good, we think. So we're gonna go ahead and go for a ride and let you guys hear our thoughts on this setup. So as you could imagine, our um, our biggest worry with doing this setup was uh, how the car would ride compared to the air suspension. Because obviously, if you've been in a car with air suspension, you know that the car is super, super smooth. Mm -hmm. And this car with air suspension was absolutely incredible. We loved it. But we just don't have to worry about it anymore because we don't want to get left stranded. It, it was a terrible feeling. Our car, yeah. we can't, we drove, well, what happened was we drove to school one day, mm -hmm. um, came home, and after like an hour, the, we heard a loud pop, like an air balloon, like, yeah. And uh, <laughs> it was terrible. At that point, the car was stuck in our garage for yeah. a whole month, uh, completely back to the ground. Yeah, I couldn't when, move it. Well, we were having problems, like I said, between shipping the broken parts and ordering the new parts and getting the new suspension. Yeah, in. so it was a disaster. And yeah, and it, it was like a total of two months the car was just sitting in our garage. Yeah. And and then it took three hours to get this car on and off of a tow truck because it was that how, it, that's yeah, how low it was. It and was it so low, yeah, that it literally took like three hours to get on and off the trailer. And the, and the guy from the towing company said this is probably the second hardest uh, tow you ever had before, and then the first one being another Mercedes with yeah. their suspension problem. So that was uh, not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling, but uh, so like I mentioned, our biggest worry was the ride quality, and we've had this for what three weeks now. The suspension setup. Yeah. Had it on the back roads, had it on the highway, and I would, I think Nick would agree with me. I don't think there's any compromises. No, the suspension. the suspension itself is. If we put two different people that didn't yeah. know, the, you know, the difference and couldn't tell, you know, suspension. The, the car rides absolutely identical to air suspension. Yeah. There's, I mean, it, it, the only thing I can say is the car feels a little bit lighter. 
now that with the, with those big bags removed, it feels yeah. ever so slightly a little bit lighter, or it could just be me, but yeah. it feels a little bit lighter. Now, but. I, I would say the difference that I noticed right off the bat as soon as we like got the car is that when you accelerate, it doesn't have to be like a, you don't have to have floor, like just give it a little bit of gas. It feels like the car, like there's not as much lift as before. Before, whenever you take off, there was a lot of lift. I'll actually insert a picture here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But now it feels like there's like no lift. It feels more more planted when you take off. So that was like a big noticeable difference. But as far as the ride quality goes, I would definitely say there's no compromise. There might be an ever like ever like so slightly of a difference, but it's, honestly, it's, you'll it's, never know. It's very hard to tell. Now, as far as like the handling goes, I think Nick would agree with me on this one. I would say it feels identical. Yeah. I mean, you really, you really can't tell we, a difference. We had it on the back road. Our school was out in the middle of nowhere, so we have a lot of back roads, <laughs> and, and uh, we tested yeah. it accordingly. And there's yep. no compromise. It feels a, yeah. I would I would say it feels great. The only thing that you know we don't like about suspension, as you could tell from the first clip, is that the right uh, the right height in the back of the car. I mean, it looks like a, it looks like a truck. Yeah, it, it does looks, looks terrible. Good. And we tried contacting Strap Masters. I already told you guys. They haven't responded back to us three times, so customer service is kind of crappy. So consider that if you're buying their suspension. But other than that, overall we like the suspension, and we like the fact that we're not gonna have to mess with it anymore. So uh, yeah, there, oh, there's one thing when you guys when you get the suspension, obviously you gotta have the. Um, we had somebody put this in for us, so yeah, um, they did all the stuff, and I you know recommend if you ever wanted to go back to air, I don't know why you wouldn't yeah. when you have something like this now. But they they pushed all like the they didn't take any of the like the airlines out or any of that stuff. They left it all in the car just in case. Yeah. Um. And then if you if you know for the E55 or 550, these cars they have like the you know control down by the gear shift there where you can, um, control whether or not you want to raise the car, lower the car, put in sport two, whatnot. Yeah. Um. When you turn the car on, it has a malfunction light. That's yeah. only because we decided not to put in the little. Um, yeah, they give you like a little computer uh, override. We didn't do that yeah. yet, not yet. But I mean, honestly, if it's just a, yeah. a malfunction light that you just they, hit a yeah, and they do. give it. They give it to us, you know, in case you want you, you install it and then the light goes away. But the person we had install it, they didn't want to install it because they thought it'd be kind of hard. And we're just kind of lazy. You don't feel like taking the floorboard apart to uh, install it. It's not a big it. deal. Because it's not a big deal. All you do is you start the car, the light comes on, you press one arrow and it goes away and you don't see it again. So we're not going to mess with that. But uh, other than that, our thoughts on the actual suspension itself is we like it. Yeah. it's I, yeah. And if you consider now, if your whole car goes out, like if all four have to be replaced over uh, whatever amount of time you're in the car. Yeah. Supposedly from a dealer, most quotes are around $10,000 to have all of them redone, you know, whatever. To have your whole suspension <laughs> completely replaced for yeah. twenty one hundred dollars, that's including you know labor, is a freaking steal because now we never have to worry about you know worrying yeah. about our air going out again. You know when these cars, these cars at this point in their lives, they're not worth a whole lot of money anymore. No, they're not. So it's really yeah. Why would you spend you know you know it now you know not everyone's whole suspension is gonna go at the same time, but why if, if it did, why spend you know ten grand? From a dealer on the a whole new suspension when the car's not worked that much. When you can get this, not have to worry about it again, and the ride quality is just as good. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this suspension to anybody with you know a formatic Mercedes with the air suspension and they want to get rid of it. And um, yeah, another thing that we actually lucked out with is that the shocks in the back, the struts, uh, I mean the shock absorbers and the springs were both good on this car. And our E55 has bad shock absorbers in the back. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shock absorbers from this car, throw them on the E55, and then the E55 suspension will be good for now. That's if you know one of the front ones don't go yeah. out. Yeah. And then in that case, when it does go out, we're right. gonna do a, a full coil over conversion yeah, on that. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I mean, if, oh, yeah. if you get a ride quality this good and it's not oh, air, yeah. it's definitely not even worth the headache at all anymore Yeah, with definitely. Air. I, I know a lot of Mercedes enthusiasts are be like, oh no, you can't take the air suspension out of there. But uh, I mean, we, we've driven, yeah, we've you been know what? driving Mercedes since we learned how to drive and we've driven just about every every Mercedes under the sun. So because of, you know, because of what we do. We detail because, cars. Yeah, so. we're a car detailer. So <laughs> we get to drive a lot of we drive We drive a lot of Mercedes. Mercedes, we've driven all kinds of Mercedes, high and low end, and so I mean our opinion kind of matters at some point when we're saying this suspension has no compromise. So yeah, take it from us, you know, you know that we love it. We yeah. love it, and you know we're Mercedes people enthusiasts. So we did the sacrilegious thing by replacing it and taking it out, but there's no compromise. Yeah, and, and, and I can't one, stress that enough. Yeah, and one thing to keep in mind is we have these 19-inch uh, uh, Vossa wheels on here, so with sport, you know, yeah, sport tires. Yeah, so uh, keep in mind, even with these 19-inch wheels, the ride quality is still really smooth. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, so keep that in mind. But um, yeah, other than that, you know, we love the suspension so far. Maybe we'll give you a couple more updates, you know, in the future if you guys want to see them. Just let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think. 
if you have to say something you know about us just taking out the air suspension just keep the comments to yourself because we don't care less it's our car we can do what we want with it but uh yeah if you guys like our content be sure to subscribe you know thumbs up the video and uh we'll see you in the next one so hope you guys enjoyed it take care